Hey, what's up? Alright, so this video is about combining like terms and how you can use that to solve an equation. So, um, I'm going to throw an equation out here as an example. Alright, so let's say we had um, an equation like this. 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 2x squared equals negative um, 8 minus 10x. So I just I just kind of made up this equation. All right. So the idea is is first of all, in order to understand how to combine like terms, first of all, we have to understand what a term is. Well, that would be helpful, right? A term is something like this. This is a term. This is a term. This is a term. This is a term. This is a term, and this is a term. Notice the thing that determines whether something is a term. It's like a term is like something that's glued together by multiplication and exponents. So 2x squared, this is all one term. 3x, that's all one term. 1 is a term. And terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So these plus and these minus signs, they're like the little walls between the terms. So there's a wall here, there's a wall here. So this is a unique term, this is a unique term, right? So now that we've identified our terms, see how we have six of them in total? one, two, three, four, five, six terms, we want to be able to um, tell which of the terms are considered like terms, right? So think about the word for a second. So like terms. Well, a like means similar. It means the same. It means they're terms of the same type. So when you're combining like terms, what you're doing is you're collecting each type of term into whatever, into a single place, right? So First of all, we need to identify sort of what are the three, what are the types of terms that we have here? How many different kinds do we have? Well, we have x squareds. This is a type of term. We have x's. This is a type of term. And we have just plain numbers. This is a type of term. So the point is here is that whether um, what kind of term something is is defined by the power of x, or whether it even has an x. So, like anything that has an x squared is considered one type of term. Anything, that's, anything that has an x is considered a term. So that's how I know that 3x and negative 10x are the same type of term. So if, if the x squareds are like oranges, the x's are like apples, and then the regular numbers are like bananas, right? So I have apples, oranges, apples, bananas. I want to collect every single thing into a single spot, of, uh, respectively, to its each type. So how about this? So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little trick, right? I'm going to draw a single line under all the terms that have x squared. Then I'm going to draw a double line under all the terms that have x. Then I'm going to draw a triple line under all the terms that have, um, they don't have an x at all. So I have three different types of terms, all right? So first, now what I want to do is I want to try to combine them and collect them. So that's where this number in front comes in, okay? This, this number in front tells you how many of these x squareds you have. It's called the coefficient. So notice, see how I have a positive 2x squared and a negative 2x squared? If I combine these two together, if I go 2 and negative 2, I add those together, I'm going to get 0. So what that means is this term completely cancels out. It means I'm not going to have any x squares left. Okay, how about um, the x's? See how I have a positive 3x and a negative 10x? They're on different sides of the equal sign, so I'm going to have to do something about that. What should I do? Should I take this... 3x and subtract it from both sides and move it over here? Or should I take the negative 10x and add it to both sides and move it over here? I'm going to just try to keep things positive and I'm going to add the 10x to both sides. So I'm going to go plus 10x and I'm going to go um, plus 10x. Okay, so I'm going to get on this side, I'm going to get a positive 13x. Okay, and this is going to go away. All right, um, how about the 1 and the negative 8? Again, do I, what do I do here? How about this? I'm going to take this 1, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Okay, so it's going to go away, and I'm going to just end up with 13x equals negative 9. So um, if you didn't follow that, basically what I did is I just, I first of all, what I did is I realized that I have three different distinct types of terms. I underlined them with different numbers of lines so that I can quickly identify which type is which. And then I combined each type of term with all the other types that were the same sort. So the x squareds and the x squareds combined. I had a positive 2 and a negative 2, and that's why it went away completely. I had this 
3x and this and this 10x, this negative 10x. So I took this negative 10x and I moved it over here and I added it to both sides and that's how I got my 13x, okay? Then I have my negative 9 and that resulted from taking this positive 1 and subtracting it from both sides and that's why I got a negative 8 minus 1 is a negative 9. So once it all boils down, now I have an equation that is a lot simpler to solve. And so from this point, all I do is I just divide both sides by positive 13. That cancels out. So my um, final value for x is negative 9 over 13.